Hey guys, Garage here. Behind me, I have a backup camera for my travel trailer wireless. Bought up my own cash. I was excited to get it in. I'm like, cool, let's check this thing out. But wait, this, the one I bought, is not the one we're going to be checking out right now. This thing behind me from Autobox, this camera, is one we're going to be reviewing today. Now, I had got my camera in. I ordered it. I paid for it. And this company, Autobox, reached out and they say, Garage, we want you to review a camera for us. I said, okay, um, I can do that. You've seen my channel, right? Because I'm going to go into the details, and if this thing sucks, I'm going to let my viewers know. And they were confident. They're like, yeah, we're going to send it out. I was really impressed with this company because they didn't put any stipulations in the review. They didn't tell me I had to do anything specific in their review. They just sent it to me, no contract, and they said, review it for us. Well, guys, let's do it. Let's check it out. All right, so you guys know Garage does not do unboxing videos. I find that to be an incredibly painful waste of time. So here we go. This is what came in the box itself. We have a camera display with a nice matte finish. It should avoid reflection. A little nubby antenna, some side buttons, power cord. And you can see where you put the mount on on the back. That's the display. We have a suction cup mount for the display. This is a little different than most I've seen. This actually has an adhesive on the suction cup itself. This may hold up better in high temperatures like here in Arizona. We'll have to see. Do have the camera itself. So it's got a vertical adjustment on the camera. You can rotate it. The end cap comes off. It's got two seals. Micro USB on the inside. That's how you charge it. You have one bolt in the bottom here, this little Allen bolt. That's what holds the camera in place in this bracket. The bracket's made to mount like on a license plate frame or something similar. It does come with a foam VHB style tape, very, very sticky tape. Prep the surface with alcohol and it should definitely stick down permanently with that tape. And But it has that in case you don't want to do a license plate frame style mount. So there it is. You do have some power cables with it. You have a cigarette lighter adapter that powers the display in your vehicle. And you have a USB or a micro USB charging cable. Now this has a pass-through for USB. Not really a pass-through, but a charger. So you can plug it in and actually charge it off the same, same unit. You get the Allen key itself, an extra screw. There's a card in here. If you register the camera, you can increase it to an 18-month warranty. On the back, it talks about a solar panel. I've seen this, read the reviews on it, and it does not charge the camera, but what it can do is help augment the battery. And I see mixed reviews on it, so you guys check it out and see if that's going to be right for you. Don't think it's going to be right for me. I like it just the way it is. Now, if we look in here in the manual, it talks about some pretty crazy battery life. We're talking 75 days on 100% charge. We'll have to check that out and see how battery life really goes. Heck, if I even got 10 days out of it, I'd be pretty impressed because I won't be using this all the time. This is mainly going to be used for just road trips. Okay, uh, we're going to flip a few pages in the manual. All right. Battery size on the camera itself is a 3350 milliamp hour battery. And uh, it's an 800 by 480 resolution display. And max transmission distance is 230 feet. So just holding that there in case you want to read any other specifications in here. All right, that's it for what comes with it. Let's take a look at what the camera looks like and the video quality and all that. All right, taking a look at the camera. Let's go ahead and darken this down just a tiny, tiny bit. It's got a reasonably good display. Perfect to see what's behind you in a vehicle. I did have to adjust the brightness and the contrast just a little bit to get it dialed in. You can see the camera just sitting here. But on the side of this guy, you got some buttons. And we have a pairing icon. We can set our brightness and contrast. We can do kind of mirroring and change the camera image itself depending on if the camera is mounted upside down or right side up. This, this display is not on all the time, so we're going to go into this menu. When you press the buttons, the display comes on, so you have 45 seconds, 60, or 90 seconds selections. 
and you can go in there and you can set those just like that. And so you can't have the screen on continuously. I kind of wish you could, but you can't on this. Okay. You do have guidelines like backup guidelines and last you can reset the whole thing. But that's it for the menu options. It's very basic and easy to use. And the camera and the display did sync up automatically. I didn't have to do anything. They just synced. So uh, let's take a look at what this looks like in vehicle. All right, so I've got the camera sitting up on my dash, power cable run down. And what I've found is this button right here, I thought it was a power button and it kind of is. So right now the rear camera is asleep and this display screen is asleep. And remember we saw that 45, 60, 90 second timer for backing up. When I press this button, I'll do that right now, it wakes the camera up and that's when the timer starts. Video quality outdoors looks really, really good. I wish you guys could see what I see with my eyes. The screen is excellent for what it is for five inch. Fantastic. Now I'm in an older GX470. Um, it's got about a, I'd say a seven inch screen in it. And let's take a look at what that looks like from a backup perspective. Kind of get them both in there. This little screen, even though it's 800 by 600, I think it was resolution, has a lot higher pixel density and obviously just way newer tech. So the screen itself looks really, really nice. My old, old one in this old vehicle, this 2008, you can definitely see how blurry it is. And then you can see the new one there. Both displays adequate, but this one will get you behind a trailer or somewhere where you can really see what's going on. So let's do a quick drive test. I wish my camera could do this justice. The screen is very bright, looks very good, very high quality, um, perfect for backing up a trailer or anything else or a vehicle that maybe doesn't have a backup cam. Great for those applications, but the screen looks good. And I figured out where those wild numbers come from, the 75 days and all that kind of stuff, uh, battery life. When the screen times out, basically the camera will go into a standby mode and so that's how they're getting that really good battery life out of this because again it's only made for backing up and when you're backing up you do have to press the little button and then it comes back on display now you can see it just turned off and now the camera is actually asleep right now and everything is in a low power mode all right so what do i think of this little camera uh would i buy it with my own money would i recommend it to you guys at this time, I actually would. I really like this thing. I wish I would have investigated the wireless cameras more before I spent my money on the hardwired version that I've got sitting over here on a shelf. Um, haven't even messed with that one yet, but this thing has worked so perfectly. The installation is so quick and easy, being that there's no wires or cables or power or anything to run. You just set it up and it syncs and it plays uh, video on the screen every single time. I've not had one sync issue with this. I've been running at my office for actually about a week and a half now. I walk over, I hit the power button, turn it on many, many times a day. It syncs every single time. The beauty in this product is the simplicity. There is not a lot of menu options on that uh, display screen. Very quick to set up, very easy to go through the menus. They're easy to understand. You don't even really need instructions. There's hardly any menu options in there. Now, the only thing I wish this camera had was a little bit more versatile mounting solutions. Uh, it would kind of take it to the next level. It comes with the license plate frame mount. That's perfectly fine. It comes with a VHV, VHV tape mount for a more permanent install. That's perfectly fine too. You do have to take out a little that little Allen key or the Allen screw to remove it to charge it. Um, what I came up with is a little bit different for my use case because I thought, you know what, I can use this camera on all of my trailers really quickly. I can go just slap it on any of them. So I ordered up some magnets, these little round rubber coated Neo magnets are 25, 25 or 30 pound strength. I think they're 25 pound strength Neo magnets. And I just bolted them to the license plate frame. They already have the bolts on them. And I can walk up to a trailer, just slap it on the bumper and go. And I'm ready to go with the camera. I mean, that's for a use case for me, that is perfect. I don't see myself using the hardwired camera I bought. So could I recommend this camera? Well, kind of obviously I'm already saying it's fantastic. I, I'm really liking this product. Um, I could recommend it to you. 
I'm not shilling for the company because they sent this to me to review. If this was junk, I'd tell you it was junk. If this has problems, I'd tell you it has problems. I didn't find a fault in this camera. It's just simple and it works. And today, too many companies overcomplicate the hell out of their products and it makes it difficult to use. And there's tons of stuff in there that just is way above and beyond what the product needs to do. This just does one thing. It displays a picture behind your vehicle or your trailer, shows you what you're backing up against or backing into. That's it. That's all I wanted to do. And it works every single time. And to me, the reliability is absolutely key. So it works every single time when I press that button, it syncs up, done. So I hope this helps you guys out. Um, I do recommend this camera. If I end up having a problem with this unit or it dies or anything else happens, I will let you know. So I'm putting this, like I said, this will go on my trailer trailers. Anytime I go somewhere, I'm going to slap it on. I'm going to be taking it to the car wash. I'll be pressure washing it. I'll be doing all that fun stuff I have to do all the time with my trailers. And I'll let you know if I have any problems. I think it's quite well made. I don't see any reason it's going to fail, but you never know. But I'll let you know if that happens. So peace out, guys. I will catch you later.